The way that I've been getting this to work in mm. practice has evolved, you know, with the help of a number of colleagues who've worked you know, on this oh. with me over the years. Um, what we've realized is that you start off by, you know, taking, if, you, if I was doing this organizationally at an organizational level, I'd say, what are the big organizational challenges that you face mm. on mm. your strategy, uh, which if they're not addressed, they're going to cause you problems, you yep. know, in the year or two's time. Can we turn those into sort of, you know, high level questions? Yes. Um, and then people who you put on your action learning based uh, programs uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, can actually create their own question. Yes. And their own question is usually formed of two parts. So the uh -huh. first part might be business related, yep. you know, so it might be, you know, um, how do I investigate mm. in this um, financial services organization, mm. Mm. whether we need a branch network mm. for instance. an operational issue. You know, um, so yes, then, you know, or how do we, you know, mm. integrate, you know, two teams coming from different sort of backgrounds yeah. as a result of a merger, you know, so yeah. it's operational, it's yeah. organizational. Mm -hmm. But the second part of the question is relating to the individual. Right. Um, and we ask people to think about, you know, <clears throat> what is it that you would like to work on? You know, it may be, you know, what is your 360 feedback telling mm -hmm. you that you mm -hmm. perhaps ought to work on? <clears throat> but, you know, it needs to certainly be something that you want to work on in terms of your own capability development. And what yeah. was the methodology, Richard? How often did these people meet and for what length of time? What, what did you learn from running the learning programme? Well, any of these programmes, and I'm <clears throat> still running them, mm -hmm. um, you know, they, to, to really sort of uh, get some traction and to lead to some action and some mm -hmm. impact at an organisational mm -hmm. level, mm -hmm. you know, I believe need to be running for probably three to six months yeah. uh, minimum. Um, and, you know, often they then became become a kind of recognized way of learning and working sure. within the organization. What would be um, the regularity of contact? Uh, I, I think a learning set, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the way we traditionally set it up was, you know, a learning group, you know, which mm -hmm. might be 25 people, um, mm -hmm. might comprise three or four learning sets, yes. action yes. learning sets or groups. Um, and they would typically, you know, over a if it was a one year period, mm -hmm. would come together for a big conference or a big event yes. uh, once a quarter. We would use a combination of methods there, which would include um, obviously working in their learning sets yes. of seven or eight people um, and also sharing between sets to get learning happening mm -hmm. across mm -hmm. the sets. We would often then bring in um, subject matter experts or people with particular experience but we wouldn't be doing that based on a predetermined syllabus. Good. Um, we would be doing that based on what were the issues of the day. Mm -hmm. So to give an example, you know, uh, a, a, there was a bank that I was working with um, who were about to relocate uh, their, one of their main offices and they were relocating it within the city. Um, but, you know, it was a very controversial thing. There's a lot of resistance they were facing. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, we actually got along to one of the conferences, the manager of the hospital locally, who had faced the same challenge. Right. So same challenge, different context. Sure. Um, you know, relocating, a ma yeah, major yeah. hospital uh, relocation, a lot of resistance yeah. culturally yeah. to it. And he'd helped manage this successfully. So I brought him in to the yeah. banking group. And I can remember folks stood around sort of wondering, well, why, what are we going to learn from this guy, you know, from the hospital and manager from the hospital? We do. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, he just stood there and told us the real story mm. from the heart, you know, and uh, practically as well, you know, how he actually managed this and what to expect. It was really interesting because at the end of the uh, event, um, he was invited onto a steering group as an advisor <laughs> with that bank to actually support them with the move. And for me, this was a great example of one of the principles around action learning of sure. you know, looking beyond your immediate focus yeah. to see what can we learn from different uh, contexts. Um, so typically, you know, we would have those sort of events, you know, yeah. once a quarter. And then in between times, the learning sets would meet. And my way of uh, doing this usually is that we, you know, are quite proactive in helping uh, facilitate this right. early on. Yeah. Uh, but the aim, again, as Reg mm. Revens would have said, mm. the aim is for people to facilitate themselves. Yeah. Sure. And uh, they should be able to, um, you know, soon, you know, run with the ball and, you know, 
facilitate their own uh, learning sets. And where it's worked best, that's what that's what has happened. Quite so often, people aren't dependent upon uh, an expert figure. Yeah, exactly. And because you know, if you if you start off in that mode, mm. you know, we are conditioned, aren't we, through our sort of mm. education yeah, um, and and prior conditioning to you know to assume that this is the expert. You know, and you sit there. So, you know, what are they going to teach mm. me now, or tell me what I need to learn? Mm. And I'll, so, you know, we we deliberately challenge that very much from the start of any action learning program. We we aim to run it in a more collaborative, participative uh, way. But it, the key thing is, it's it's not just a training um, device or method. It's much more than that. Yeah. It's an uh, organization development mm. uh, type kind of uh, process yeah it's which... easy to get all drawn into conceptual stuff but it's a vehicle for providing value back by focusing on real issues driven by the people themselves yeah absolutely and you know put like that it makes you know a whole lot of